In this case, we're going to use microwave radiation. So what we have here, you know, Peter, if you can uh, scroll down on that, we have a microwave transmitter, got a normal power supply, power comes in here, let's go power, and it's converted into microwaves, just like a normal light bulb would convert electrical energy into visible waves, this is converting it into light waves, okay? Or similarly, we know the remote control, we looked at this yesterday, can convert something into infrared. So there are these electromagnetic radiations all around us, there are radio waves passing through us as we speak all the time, we just don't notice them because we're not sensitive to them. So this is a little apparatus that looks at, what did I say, microwaves. So microwave transmitter, microwave receiver, and I've connected the receiver up to a big uh, amplifier and speaker so that if it receives any microwave radiation, it will we'll be able to hear it here. And similarly, I've even got a little current meter here, microammeter, so we should see something here and see something here. Okay? So there will be microwaves being transmitted. We are not sensitive to microwaves. We will not detect it, but this is our evidence to show that something's happening. Uh, where do we start? Well, let's start with the concept of polarization. Let's just start it off for starters. Let's see what we get. It's emitting microwave radiation. We can't see microwave radiation, but this is our evidence for it. If I just move it off to the side, it's no longer picking it up, and therefore <coughs> the sound goes almost completely dead. Microwave radiation, just got a record, it's not something you need to know, but it's got a wavelength of maybe about a centimeter. So that becomes important later on. So I'm going to put this back here. Maybe the next thing I look at is the fact that the microwave radiation is polarized. At the moment, I don't know what direction it's polarized in. It's either vertically polarized coming out of here or horizontally polarized. But watch what happens when I switch my receiver around. I'm going to go like that. And I turn it like that. So this is now receiving, looking for, polarized, looking for it in one direction, but it's coming out in the other direction, and therefore it's not picking it up. If I turn it back again, you can keep an eye both on the speaker or on the amplifier. Or, sorry, on my ammeter. The ammeter will also change, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And if I bring it all the way back, all the way back to zero. So I'm going to put it all the way back here so it's at a maximum. The next thing we want to do to show you that it's coming out here, I don't know if I put it like this. I don't know <laughs> still if it's horizontal or vertical uh, polarization going on, but if it was vertical, let's take this out of the way, let's assume it was vertically polarized. If I put this through it, what difference should it make? No. None. If it's vertically polarized and I put this through it, what difference should it make? No Nothing should go through. Let's try it. So back we go, turn this out so they're both facing the same direction, and I'll start with the vertical. and it's almost completely gone. So suggesting that the microwave radiation is polarized in what direction? Horizontal. So therefore I turn this horizontal, what difference should it make? Here. Vertical and horizontal polarization. I think that's mad. One to go. We show the last day that you can see Infrared, in fact, we did it on the camera here, that you can, the camera can pick up infrared radiation, but we can't. Let's, that's, let's, in fact, <coughs> what am I trying to say here? Let's do something similar with microwaves, and let's see whether or not the microwaves can go through a substance. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of different substances on it, and we'll just see if the microwave can travel through it or not. So let's go back to getting our full reception. We're getting a current reading here. Uh, we can hear it on the speakers. I'm going to put just a plastic material through it. Visible light won't travel through plastic, through this black plastic, so I can't see what's on the other side. But obviously the infrared but obviously the infrared is passing straight through it as if it didn't exist. And that's what's happening. If you think about uh, visible light, there are solids that visible light can pass through. Name a solid that visible light can pass through. Glass. Yeah, glass is a perfect it's quite bizarre that you think that light can pass through a solid object. I mean what's actually going on? Is it interacting with what's in the object? Is it going straight through it as if it's not there? These are questions we should be asking ourselves. Obviously not on the course, but there's no reason why you shouldn't ask the questions. Uh, but anyway, let's come back to this one more time, and then I'll replace it with a metal sheet, and then we're done. Full receiving, receiving close to 100%. Makes no difference. Doesn't matter which way I turn it. Okay. Finally, let's replace it with metal. So obviously microwaves do not travel through metal, but they do travel through plastic. And again, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. For what it's worth, you could, in fact, let's go one more time. If it doesn't 
transmit to metal. What are the other options? Wait, what's happening if when it hits the metal? Go around, burn it off effectively. Okay, it's being deflected. Be more accurate. It's been re so it's been reflected. Either two options. Either it's been absorbed or it's been reflected. <coughs> if it's been reflected, again, microwave radiation is a bit like visible light. It's part of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. We know that if you shine visible light against the mirror, it goes in one angle and out a similar angle on the other side. Let's just see what happens when we try it with microwave radiation. Same idea. So obviously, as I said before, we are not sensitive to microwave radiation. But let's just see if I shine it in at an angle like that, either it's being absorbed or it's being reflected. If it's being absorbed, this is heating up. If it's being reflected, then this should pick it up how? Where? So this angle here, let's give it a shot and see. And make sure that's pretty much dead on. And lo and behold, if I turn it slightly, getting less, getting less, maximum. So there is radiation, microwave radiation, kicking in there, hitting off of this guy, and coming back to the other side. And we did mention the point that this notion of bouncing back, <coughs> excuse me, is now a simplification. It's interacting with the electrons here to some extent, not locking the electrons up a level, back down a level, and then the electrons are emitting electromagnetic radiation of a similar frequency <coughs> to what came in. Okay? And that's what's going up there. Question? Um, if that was only like a centimeter wide, would you hear it? Would you hear the noise because it would be diffracted? Yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's also spreading out. Oh. So it would be less powerful. I mean, there'd be some of it in the middle, but not nearly enough. And I imagine if we put the plastic here, what should happen? It should be straight through, so we shouldn't be getting... Now, even with light, when you shine light off a mirror, if I just get you to hold it there, Richie. If you shine light off a mirror, it doesn't all get reflected. <coughs> some of it does actually get absorbed. So similar here, even though some of it is passing through, you might find that some of it is getting reflected. But I haven't tried this before. Let's try it and see. So we know if we have a detector here, it's detecting the microwave radiation. So we know radiation is getting through it. But similarly, there's definitely radiation being reflected also. And it's the same in a mirror. Some, or so you've got glass. Some light travels through glass, but some light also comes back. We're not normally aware of the light that bounces back from glass. Why not? Why can't we see a reflection in a mirror? In a, sorry, in a window pane in daytime? <coughs> because there's more light coming from the other side. But if it's dark outside and bright inside, and you look at a mirror, you get or look at a window, do you see a reflection? Yeah, yeah. yeah so there is light coming back, we're just normally aware of it. Okay, I just thought I would demonstrate that while it was here as, a, as a, an extension of what we normally do with the wave theory of light. Thank you, Peter.